Let's begin. Okay, so we're back and we're looking at Ortigas for closed condos for sale. Now today I'm going to do something different. I'm looking at both foreclosed sales from banks and rush sales from private owners directly because they might be desperate, not wanting to hurt their credit rating and want to sell now and sell fast at a really good price. And ultimately what you might find is you might even get a better price from a private rush sale over a foreclosure. Some of these banks, they can be you know, a bit greedy and not very negotiable, whereas owners tend to be more negotiable. That's my personal experience. Having said that, the other thing is with owners, I'm actually finding owners, you might say, have you found these owners? Most I've found through Facebook. And Facebook has up-to-date information, new listings, as well as pictures. So if you've been following this series, what you'd notice is a lot of foreclosure websites, banks are quite lazy, and they only list some very, very small amount of information, just a description without photos. It's very frustrating that they don't provide photos, whereas private owners have photos and I'm able to actually show you the condominiums. Without further ado, let's have a look at this first listing, which is 1.4 million peso. And this literally does say current market value is 2.5 and they're discounting for a cash offer only 1.1 million. So the price is only 1.4 million. That's over a 40% discount. Total bargain. Awesome deal. And it is a loft style. Kind of looks like a townhouse, but it's on a condominium title. Have a look at this. Nice view. So being on a condominium title, foreigners can own this property, guys. Awesome. Look at that. So a decent sized loft. Actually looks bigger than 40 square meters. Okay, the other thing too is you might find in this area there's more parking. It does say that it's one ride away from SM Megamore and Ortigas. So it's not located in center of Ortigas. It's a bit out of the way, but it is a good price. So they're asking 1.4 million divided by 1.4 million divided by 40 square meters, which means they're only asking for 35,000 peso per square meter. That's very, very cheap. And all the amenities in this building, swimming pool, gym, basketball court, uh, what a deal. I mean, wow, it, it almost looks too good to be true. So that's the cheapest listing. Roughly, that's just under 30,000 US dollars. It's around about 27,500 US dollars is the asking price for this property. Moving along, and everything is in order from cheapest to most expensive, so stay with me. This is a new condominium for viewing. It looks like there is a bit of a discount, does look cheap. It's on Ortigas Avenue, it's a two bedroom. However, okay, and the other good thing is, before I jump into this, you can see phone numbers and also who the listing agent or the seller is. So if you feel like you want to jump on Facebook and contact these individuals directly, you can do so. That's the other reason as well as the pictures that I wanted to use Facebook for you guys. So anyway, let's expand this picture and what you can see is this is only a small 30 square meter condo, yet it's two bedroom. So you really need to see the condo, you know, how big is that bed? It, it looks like it's a half size bed I mean, would I have to pull my legs up or sleep diagonally just to fit in there? I'm not sure. It might be okay for a Filipino, but it might not be all right for a foreigner. So having a look at this, new condominium, two bedroom, 30.6 square meters, decent price. Just, yeah, two bedroom, 36 square meter has me a little nervous. So you'd want to have a look at the showroom. Moving along. So we're going to get through this as quickly as we can, guys. Next one is the One Oasis condominium in Ortigas. One Oasis Ortigas. It's 29.87 square meters, so just under 30 square meters. It's priced at 2.389 million. And if we divide 29.87, that comes to 79,900 peso per square meter. So ultimately, 
this is pretty good I mean for Ortigas and in a modern building obviously this is a foreclosure listing from the bank it's from BDO BDO's foreclosed on this unit and they don't have pictures so I've had to find the pictures for you guys this development actually is an, a modern development quite a nice development by a very very well known developer by the name of Phil Invest the other thing you'll see here is the original prices started from 2.16 million and they were 20 square meters so ultimately that means the PSM the price per square meter would have been over a hundred thousand peso per square meter when they first launched this product versus this price which is only 2.3 for a 29 square meter unit which is 79,000 peso so yes you are getting a bit of a deal um, you know that's that's over a 20% discount I'm going to show you some pictures of the development it's a nice development it's a mid-rise condo development club oasis it's got a basketball court pool everything you could hope and dream for moving along it's a bit slow sorry okay so what I found is this building sorry I had to take a pause there I need some water okay so this building is literally got a heap like a huge amount of foreclosures it's East Residences Ortigas from 1 million peso so obviously again this is Pug Ebig and this is a foreclosed um, foreclosure and we can't see pictures if I click that it will not show pictures so what I've done is I found other listings in the marketplace to show you examples of these units which I believe these are agents selling these units um, most of which are actually foreclosures so let, let's have a quick look at the pictures this is 2.4 million and the square meterage is drum roll it doesn't tell me how annoying yes it does 60 square meters okay I've got something to go on that's the entrance that's the building and pool doesn't look bad actually it looks decent and actually if we do the math on this you know this one for example 2436 divided by 60 square meters is 40,600 peso per square meter that's only $800 US per square meter guys absolutely stealing this property I mean if you could score this negotiate and get this for under 2 million let's say 2 million to be fair divided by 50.5 which is the current exchange rate for the US dollar you could buy this 60 square meter two bedroom condominium in East Ortigas mansions for thirty nine thousand six hundred and three dollars so under forty grand guys what a bargain that's cheap moving along I'm not going to spend too much time on this because it's all in the same building but I just want to show you some example units this one's 2.9 it's 76 square meters in the same building guys just want to you know show you a few examples so you get a feel for it now this is 3.9 and I think it's the same size from memory actually it's smaller it's 72 square meter whereas this one was 76 so this is probably the deal here and you can see inside decent size condominium and I like the big balconies here I like a nice terrace you know something big enough where you can put a barbecue on the terrace on the balcony I hate these tiny pokey um, you know balconies where you can just hardly barely stand and it just feels uncomfortable and unsafe so here's one one more and this is how many square meters it says 68 two bedroom corner penthouse unit with parking and it also has a rooftop cage to keep your pets okay I'm glad I pulled this up because this picture you know you can see straight away this is a decent picture it actually makes the condo look 
really nice. It's a decent uh, low-rise condominium actually, and I prefer low-rise over high-rise. Yeah, really nice. East Ortigas. Awesome. Moving along, the last unit in East Ortigas, you can see, actually some people are asking a pretty penny. This is not a rush sale. I just wanted to show you an example unit with some nice pictures. And this guy's asking 5.5 .5 for a 60 square meter condo. And you can see, actually, it's not bad. Condo looks nice, very livable. I could, I would be really happy living in this condo, and I like the fact that outside you have some trees. You don't just see the concrete jungle and the mess outside, so it's fairly decent. Moving along, let's have a look at the next property. Okay, so this is 3.5 million. It says it's a 30 square meter condo plus balcony, so 34 square meter. It's very close to just over 100,000 peso per square meter, which is actually for this condo an extremely good deal. And I'll explain why. This is located on ADB Avenue, and it's in ADB Avenue Tower. Across the road, um, you've got Podium. Podium Mall is awesome. It's a great new mall, um, been refurbished. Well, it's an older style mall that's been refurbished and modernized. It's very cool inside, got some awesome shops, restaurants and cafes, very trendy. And down from there you have the Mega Mall. So, you know, a few options for malls. And actually if you go the other way, there's the Robinson's Galleria. So a lot of people, they buy in the city in Ortigas because it's pretty much the biggest call center hub in the city, in Metro Manila. The other thing about this, and the picture doesn't really uh, show you too much, but the balconies are very sizable in these units. It says four square meters, but they're very long, very long uh, balconies, quite decent actually. So there's a video there, I'm not going to play that, because uh, it'll probably freeze my computer, but it gives you an idea, and look, this is definitely a decent price. What would I pay now in the current market? Honestly, I would go and have a crack at this and say, okay, it's 34 square meters. Let's say 34 times 80,000 peso per square meter is 2.72 million. I'd go ahead and just offer like maybe 2.8, just over 80,000 peso per square meter and try and get a bargain. Look, if you bought this for high twos, anywhere in the high twos, you're laughing. It's, it's a great location, awesome location. Just need some more water. Sorry guys. <clears throat> okay, so this is the BSA Twin Towers in Ortigas and it's priced at 3.7 million. So the BSA is smack bang in the middle and it's above the St. Francis uh, market. Now St. Francis was kind of like a mall and market where they have cheap goodies, like a miniature version of Green Hill shopping if you've ever been to Green Hills. Unfortunately now, I believe um, most of the St. Francis got bought out and converted into Pogo's where people have been quite discontent about that. So there's still a few shops in St. Francis on the ground floor, but not a lot, okay? Um, the only downside of this particular condo is it looks straight at another building, uh, but it's decent price, 3.7. Unfortunately, it does not list the square meterage, but just looking at it and knowing the cuts in this building, I would say it's probably around about 38 square meters is my guess. Next is the Governor's Palace. I am the Governor. You will come with me <laughs> to my condo. <laughs> anyway, this is a rush sale. So this is what I was saying, guys. We're looking at foreclosures and rush sales from Owners Direct. So this is 52 square meters. It's just on the outskirts of Ortigas. It does say five minutes to Ortigas, eight minutes to Makati. It's in Mandaluyong, so it's on the border of kind of like Ortigas and Mandaluyong. Uh, it's a decent condominium. Again, another low rise. I'm fond of low rises. 3.9 only 52 square meters. It 
doesn't show you the inside. That's really frustrating. I don't believe it has a park. You probably want to offer something low here, like 2.9 on this condominium. Just not being in Ortigas, being a bit further out. You want to negotiate a bit harder on this one, guys. So, you know, if you offered 2.9, pick this up for 2.9. Divide it by 52 square meters. You only have 55,000 peso per square meter, which ultimately is about $1,100 US per square meter, not a bad price. So, I mean, like what, 55, 56,000 US dollars? This is this is quite reasonable being so close to Ortigas. Yeah. Actually, some really good deals in Ortigas. I've always found that bang for buck value the best city in Manila without a doubt is Ortigas, okay? All around, you know, it, it's definitely got the best value and hence why I used to live here um, and Makati. I've lived in Makati as well, um, but I prefer, you know, honestly to buy, I prefer Ortigas. So Soho, the Soho Central, which is quite a nice building, and that's 3.9 million just outside. It is, it is still Ortigas, but it's kind of, like you got the city center, okay? And then right at the end of the city center area, you have the Soho, okay? So you kind of got to cross the road there. That's the only annoying thing is crossing the road. Um, you got to go under the underpass um, to actually, well, you go underneath the overpass, I should say, to get to the city central. And it does say Shangri-La Mall. That's not fair. It says eight minute walk. It's not, it's directly across the road. It's like a two minute walk. Actually, this agent is not doing this condo justice. The Soho is a good development, actually. I've got a few friends that live in this building. Look at that pool. And you can see, let me just expand that, the big balconies. So decent sized balcony, decent sized pool. It's a true one bedroom, guys. Yeah, look at that. Overlooking the pool. So it doesn't overlook the Edsa. You know, it's not too noisy because it actually overlooks the pool. This is a decent condominium. This is really good, actually. Yeah, look at that. That's a good size balcony because that stretches between the living room, the living room, that's the living room, and that should be the bedroom there. Yeah, really good, really nice. Yeah, there you go, that's the balcony in the living room. Let me expand that, so a bit more information. Cash basis only, direct buyers, guys. You need cash, this is a rush sale. So not a bad unit. I've always liked this development uh, and also what you should know is this is located just behind Greenfield so Greenfield has like markets um, you know it's got nice restaurants it's probably the only green area in Ortigas <laughs> actually so um, yeah that's a bit annoying that's the one downside about Ortigas it is a concrete jungle nowadays high-rise condominiums Malls, shopping, that's about it. Next condo, Ortigas, another rush sale. Let's rush this sale. This is a great location. It's a good floor. It's on the 38th floor. It's a 40 square, 46 square meter condominium in the east of Galleria building. So it's actually a really, really good location right in the BB, BPO hub. Okay, and it's a loft. Okay, Clint, if you're watching this, buddy, mate, you used to live here years ago. Do you remember? Actually, I told one of my my mates named Clint to watch because he uh, lived in the east of Galleria years ago. Um, I think his unit had some problems, though, so I'm not sure how fond, fond of uh, this unit he'll be. Clint, if you're in the chat, please uh, sit, leave a message in, in the chat and let us know how you found East of Galleria. Look, I know you didn't have the best time there, um, but ultimately, I think it's an, a, a really great location. Um, this, this building is located literally across the road from the office where we used to work, so that's pretty cool. 4.1 million guys for 46 square meters, not a bad price at all. Moving along. This marathon, I think I'm at day five or day six. Mm. 
so my voice is starting to go and actually interesting I did a video that put the video earlier halfway through the video it crashed and I lost the video so this is the second time I'm having to redo this video tonight oh <laughs> well these things happen so the next one 4.2 million is the Pearl Place Residences look at that view another rush sale it's only a small condominium on the ninth floor and it's 34 square meters so what's that 4.2 again a good location quite a modern building but look I think for the money you know you'd, you'd want to get the price well and truly like I'm gonna be I'm gonna be harsh and say 30% off what they're asking okay because 4.2 million divided by 34 square meters is 123,000 peso per square meter so you know it's a good building don't get me wrong I like the uh, the area the locations not bad I'd want to pay less than 90,000 peso per square meter the absolute max you'd want to pay here guys is probably for let me calculate that 34 times 90,000 yeah so 3 million and 60,000 peso so you know you come in you'd make a low offer offer 3 mil and maybe they'd take it okay so another east of Galleria condominium and you can see the pool there the pool's not bad at all nice facilities actually from the office I used to see this pool and I'd be working long hours, get in early, leave late, you know, sometimes start 5.30 in the morning and leave at like 7 o'clock because I'd want to avoid the traffic, seriously. And I'd watch people swimming in the pool and it would be like, ah, oh, cringe. <laughs> I would wish I was relaxing in the heat and, and swimming in the pool. So another loft. Let's see if we can find some more pictures. Actually looks a bit nicer inside, just a bit cleaner. You know, maintained a bit better. Easter Galleria. It's got a little kids park. Always useful. 4.5 million, 40 square meters versus the other one. Let's just go back here, guys. This is 46 square meters and it's cheaper. So the deal is, even though the photos don't look as flash and as nice, this is a better price this is a better deal okay so look this up jump on the Moody website look up Ortigas find Marianne Clement and make an offer today because this is a decent dis decent price actually comparatively speaking that is the cheapest uh, loft that I found in central CBD Ortigas okay so another ADB tower so again this one was more expensive but what I wanted to do because someone did comment and they asked they said look Pete you know what we'd like to see is you know you're showing us these condos but we don't know what actual value is okay so I'm gonna compare two condos so if we go back to this one I think it's this one 3.5 million this was 34 square meters total right versus I've jumped too far ahead, sorry. Versus this, no, this one, 4.8 for 32 square meters. Okay, so look, the unit is different, and perhaps in the other listing, the photos just weren't very good, and the photos are better in this listing, and this is a higher floor. So, what I found is the pictures on this one look nice. It's the same building, guys and you can see look look at this look at that glass wall so you get a really nice view but what I could not see on this condominium is where is the balcony where is it so I think the extra space is actually the balcony in the other listing and ultimately I would prefer the balcony in the balcony view rather than the glass but some people might like the glass and not want the dust and noise to get in they might prefer this ultimately for the money I think the other unit represents much better value okay 
This is a really good example, guys. One of my favorite, absolute favorite buildings in all of Ortigas is the Malayan Plaza. The Malayan is a modern hotel, condo tel like building. It is literally in the center of the CBD on ADB Avenue. And it, look, it is older style now, but the construction, the quality of the build is actually really good in this building, okay? So they have decent cuts, okay? The cuts start from like studios, which are 40 square meters, and they go up to like, I don't know, 80 square meter one bedroom. So really nice cut. The other thing about the Malayan, you can see the pool on the rooftop. And the other thing about the Malayan is the rooms. The ceilings are actually high ceilings. I always used to like the high ceilings. And that's the building there on the right hand side on ADV, ADB Avenue. Okay, and it's directly opposite the podium. Directly opposite podium. So it's a great location in the center. Of all the buildings I've, I'm going to show you today, this has probably got the best most prime location of all okay so yeah really fond on Malayan and look I, I had to really you know I bought in the Shangri-La in Ortigas and I almost bought in the Malayan but in the end I decided I wanted Shang just for the brand and the exclusivity but looking back and this doesn't show you the balcony but the balconies are huge in the Malayan I kind of do wish that I bought in the Malayan instead because of the balcony sizes being bigger um, just because you know the locations better it's a better location uh, close to people working so when I used to work I'd, I'd you know work very close to this location in the CBD center whereas Shangri-La is a great building but it's further away and nowadays actually interesting fact Shangri-La you know price per square meter you know on the money I've actually made more money than what I would have buying the Malayan, but as a building, I still probably prefer the Malayan, and I think, you know, it's got some growth. Okay, next listing. So this is the Chateau Verde Condominium, Valla Verde 1. <coughs> Pardon me. And just see if I can bring up the picture. I think it only has one picture. Okay. This is a bit hard to show you, and it's not the best example, but it's the only example I could find in Valla Verde, which is at the back of Ortigas. Valla Verde is a very good area. Valla Verde is known as kind of like the exclusive housing estate. Houses here sell from 150 uh, million peso to, you know, like 200 plus million peso. Okay, so, you know comparatively speaking for those that aren't mega rich and don't want to blow three or four million US dollars on a house in Valle Verde you know the option is to buy an older style condominium now this is a decent size it's 77 square meters for 5.3 um, strange though it does say Floria 110 square meters so I'm confused by that perhaps that includes the parking perhaps you know this actually comes with some parking as lot as well and I do know for a fact that the Chateau Verde usually the cuts were over a hundred square meters so I'm assuming this this probably is over a hundred uh, don't know why it's got conflicting information there guys but let's just assume that's the case but this is one example of my, of many in Valle Verde of condominiums now the biggest seller on these condominiums in Valle Verde is some of them don't look like condominiums. They're like two and three story walk up condominiums. They look more like townhouses. And for someone that's wanting to settle down long term, um, this is the best option. Of all of the options, you know, in Ortigas, if you can get into Valle Verde, that's probably your best one because if you're looking to put down roots, for example, like I bought a small 46.5 square meter condominium in Shangri La. And before moving out, I actually looked at moving to Valle Verde because I found a condominium unit that I could buy in my own name. It was three-story. It was only, I think, six or seven million peso at the time. And it was almost 180 square meters. And then on the ground floor, you had a carport and you could fit two cars. Okay, so ultimately speaking, I can own it in my own name. 
Um, you know, it's big enough that's livable that I could start a family, have kids, settle down, put down roots. Okay, and it was bang for buck. It was good value. So if you're looking to start a family and you're serious about staying in the Ortigas area, maybe you know starting a career in the call center industry or the pogo industry, and you've got a wife and you know maybe a kid or two, then this is a good option for you. Okay, the next one we talked about rent to own guys, which stands for RTO, right? A couple of people um, actually said to me, "Oh, look, Pete, you got." got it wrong the other night because I said uh, I got confused I, I'd been up late and I misread it wasn't RTO it was RFO RFO stands for ready for occupancy RTO stands for rent to own so ultimately it's like vendor finance technically speaking when you take vendor finance a developer loan or you know rent to buy option you will pay more money okay you will pay more money um, because you know they don't want to negotiate on the price. So option A is get a better cash price, or option B is ask for terms to pay over two, three plus years, maybe up to five years on a rent to buy uh, option. So this one, it's in a good location. It's in between the Mega Mall and Shang Mall. Okay, it's only 42 square meters. I doubt they'll be very negotiable here. <laughs> Sorry guys, I literally got interrupted by someone, not going to mention names, but yeah, very frustrating because I'm in the middle of shooting a video. Uh, anyway, so look, what I was saying, this is a rent to own property. And it's funny because in the heading what you'll see is it says, you know, it's very confusing, it says RTO, rent to own, and RFO, ready for occupancy, okay? So yes, you're probably not going to get as a good deal as you would with cash. If you got cash, you want to negotiate. Otherwise, you know, don't pay what they're asking. If if they want the asking price or close to it, you know, within 10% of the asking price, then ultimately ask for terms. Ask for vendor finance. If you don't understand what vendor finance is, guys, it just means that you have an option to pay over a number of years and it could be three years, it could be five years, and there could be some interest involved. It could be 6%, 8%, you know, depends on what you negotiate. Okay, so this is an example of an older style condominium, okay? It's the Park Royal. I believe the Park Royal has had issues. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I'm pretty certain Park Royal was the building where there was a fire. Okay, there was an older style building. It is a great location. It's in an awesome location, but my understanding is there was one building and it had a fire, and I was actually working in, in Ortigas at the time. So you need to be really careful. Some of these units do have fire damage, so you might want to do some research. Um, sorry, I didn't have time to check, but I'm quite certain if I saw the exact location there, I could tell you Jade Drive. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's another building. I'm thinking of a different building with a similar name. Look, just Google it. You know, just double check. It is an older style building. I do like the older style buildings. And it is a good location and you probably can negotiate a good price. But before you do anything with this building, please check the articles. Go to Google and just write Park Royal Fire or Fire in Ortigas. And then I'll tell you which of the uh, older style buildings it was that had the fire. Good to know, guys. You need to know this stuff. Um, you know, just local knowledge, just really important because, you know, who knows? You could be buying a dud or something with with issues. And it's loading. <laughs> it's actually a decent condo. I really want to show this to you. It seems to be after I had to pause the video that the computer seems to be going slower now. Anyway, thank you that to that person. <laughs> I'm not going to complain. I'll shut my mouth now, otherwise I'll get in trouble. Okay, so again, I was showing you examples, and I'm sure the square meterage is wrong again on this condominium, but I was showing you examples earlier of, you know, one example of Valla Verde, a condo inside Valla Verde 
and this is another example. They're asking 5.8, they're asking too much if it's 60 square meters. I'm pretty sure, certain, you know, the old cuts in Valle Verde were, were huge, you know, so I'm pretty certain they've got the square meterage wrong on this one again. And look, you can go out and measure. You know, I've done that, and it's surprising to see how many real estate agents get the square meterage rate wrong. The reason I think it's wrong is this is a three bedroom. And you know, if one bedroom is 15 or 15 to 20 square meters, depending on if it's the master suite or not, let's say 18 square meters to 15 square meters, something like that, three bedroom straight away has to be at least 45 square meters plus living and dining. You'd think this would be at least 70. Let's just assume that they're right. And I pressed an advert, don't you hate that? They got me. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> anyway, so here we go. Also, it does show unit is on the third floor in a low-rise three-story building with only 12 units. So capital growth-wise and investment-wise, this this style of unit is always going to perform better. Just imagine that you know in this area, and it's happened already. It's already starting to happen in Valle Verde. I've seen them building high-rises. But just imagine that. You know, someone comes along, a developer says, look, I want to buy all 12 of these units. I don't care what I've got to pay for it. I'll pay each unit, fifth, you know, each unit owner 15 million pesos, you know, to take that property and develop that land into a high-rise condominium. It's happening in Manila. You know, they're building 70 and 80 story tall, these, these crazy high density buildings. This, this is what's happening. Um, you know, Manila has become, you know, Metro Manila as a whole, if you look at it as a whole, literally, it's the most densely populated city in the world now. It really is. Okay, it's crazy, absolutely crazy. So anyway, 5.8 for this, and it's got a slot, one, one parking slot, good for investment. Now I'm going to skip that one, they're trying to sell me new property. That's developer stock. Actually, I can see the icon. It says SMDC. No, you're, you're going to want 150,000 peso per square meter. You're going to want to take 5 million peso off me and, and give me a small 28 square meter condo. Stay away from me. <laughs> Stay away. All right, here's another example, Valle Verde 6. So there's different stages in Valle Verde. I'm, I'm sorry this is going a bit slower now. Um, just seems to be the way at the moment. Um, they're asking six million and this is one of the examples that kind of look like a townhouse setup rather than condominiums it's a again a low-rise three-story building it could be a similar or the same uh, hold on was it Valle Verde 6 it could be the same building it doesn't say but it could be but anyway this one is 43.5 square meters it is a ground floor unit and has one parking slot. Some of the ground floor units are also good because actually some of them have courtyards. This doesn't appear to have one based on what I can see here. It looks like it's a big car park, a parking lot, but some older style units do. Actually, it's not the same condominium because as I was switching pages, I did see it said 37 units in the block. Whereas the other condominium listing only had 12 units in the block. Okay, so this one. Okay, who can guess which building this is? Come on, guys, if you've watched me for long enough, you should know. Anyway, I've revealed. It's the St. Francis Shangri-La place, right? So this connects up to the Shangri-La Edsa Hotel, and it also connects up to the mall, okay? So it does connect and it's really really handy because you just walk over to the Shang Mall and there's like 200 eatery options so you've got 200 restaurants you got shopping um, everything that you could want there you got the supermarket and it's just really really handy and convenient as well as having the Shangri-La name this is the very very cheapest condominium I found in the St. Francis Shangri-La so it's 38 square meters, they're asking 6 mil. So 6 mil divided by 38 square meters 
is 157,000 peso per square meter. Honestly, I don't even know if this is still available, uh, but what I would say is in the last year, two years, Chinese have been taking a liking to this building and the one Shang building and prices have skyrocketed. So there's less and less listings available in the building and the listings that are available, they're asking big money. Okay, so at the end of the day, this is actually a very, very reasonable price. I doubt you'll get much off the price nowadays, maybe 10%. So you might want to offer like 5.35, something like that, and you might pick up a deal here. So the good thing is, and I own one of these condominiums, I own the larger cut, which is 46.5 square meters. And you know the nice thing about it is um, the things you can do with it. It's a high ceiling. Actually, this picture doesn't really give it credit, but let me zoom in. Really high ceilings there, guys. So when you're in the condo, it does feel nice. It almost feels like a loft, okay, which is nice. I'm not totally sold on that view, though. Yeah, that view is not the greatest. It kind of looks over the... It looks like Mega Mall. Is that Mega Mall? No, it's not Mega Mall. I think that's over Greenfield. Okay, so it's not the nicest view. It is one of the smaller cuts in the building, which is 38 square meters. See the nice vanity there. Let's just expand. So yeah, in Ortega Center, Mandaluyong. That's it. Moving along. Again, sorry for the delay here. So three bedroom. This is awesome, guys. Totally, totally awesome. It is an absolute steal. It is located on ADB Avenue in the center of the city in the city and land mega plaza. It's a three bedroom, three bath with 95 square meters and I suspect it would have a car park unless they sold it off individually. So let's say, yeah, 6.2 is cheap, really cheap. So look, I think it would have a, a car park but let's not include the car park and why I think it does have is Usually in buildings, the two and three story, sorry, the two and three bedroom size condominium, sorry, it's getting a bit late here, um, actually do come with parking. It's just that the agents don't know and they don't list it. Or sometimes actually the parking is worth a lot of money so they sell it off individually and don't tell you and it doesn't come with parking, which is really, really annoying. Parks in Ortigas go from anywhere from like one to two million peso depending on the building. Let's have a quick look. Big condo, very sizable. See the view there, it does look straight at a call center, but you are in the heart of the city. So that's normal for this area. It's all high rise buildings here. Needs a good clean, I mean, like, as the agent, if I was the agent, I would scrub it or pay someone to scrub the floors myself just so it looks a bit more appealing in the photos. But anyway, at least the first picture looks good. You know, it's well maintained there. Anyway, <laughs> 6.2 million, right, is the asking price divided by 95 square meters is 65,000 peso per square meter. I think you could get this 50,000 peso per square meter. Let's say you could buy this at 50 at 50 times 95 you'd want to make an offer of 4.75 million could you do it yes you can in this market you can offer whatever you like and ultimately this is an older style building although the location's wonderful it is an older style building and older buildings you can negotiate a lot harder than newer buildings okay so just remember that Another example of an older style building is the Renaissance condominium and this is 78 square meters, 6.3. Let's have a look at the pictures.
Okay, so the Renaissance has a few towers. You can see that, right, just from this picture. It is an older style condominium. I think it was built in the 90s. Actually, the older buildings are better than the new buildings. And the reason why is the cuts are bigger. i got to be honest. I would honestly only offer 4 million for this. I would... Actually, less. I would offer 50,000 peso square meter for this condo because I never liked this building. Okay, I never liked it. The reason I didn't like it is... Okay, I'll be fair. I did like this development. I didn't like this specific tower. The other tower, the older tower, had bigger cuts. And for that reason, I just liked it. Actually, really strange. I've just noticed... I thought there was like old brick in the condo. It's not. Someone's kind of like, you know, put some old exposed brick over the wall just, just as a feature. And I do not like that as a feature. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah, look, I do like the, the older Renaissance building. I think it's it's called like Renaissance 1000, Renaissance 2000 or whatever. So I think it was the 1000 building that I liked the most. And they had sub penthouses and penthouses. When I first came to the Philippines about 12 years ago, I almost bought one 250 square meters on one of the top floors. And it was cheap, man. It was like probably 40,000 peso per square meter. It was really, really cheap. And the cut was just nicer. Internally, the units looked nicer. Just everything about it was, was better. I don't know why, I just, just liked it. I think I have said in the videos that I do prefer the older style condominiums. Here's another example of the Malayan Plaza. And you can see just how big these units are. Have a look at this. Another rush sale. That's a big unit. That's a really sizable unit. And it is very open. It looks like just all one big open plan. It might have a bedroom there. But some of the units were like that. Generally speaking, on the higher floors, they were open plan like this. On the very high floors. Uh, let me see. Does it say? No, it does not list the floor. But yeah, if you can get on a higher floor, you're going to be better off, obviously. The one thing that's frustrating me about these pictures at the Malayan, none of them have taken pictures of the balcony. And it's huge. You know, most of the balconies I've seen there are like six to eight square meters. Like, they're sizable. You could have a party on one of these balconies. You can have, you know, a big barbecue outside. So, yeah. Hey, guys, take more pictures, please. Another Milan. This is probably the best value of all. This says it's 72.5 square meters plus parking. Okay, so 72.5 plus 12.5 is 85 square meters? Really? For 6.5 million, that's not bad at all, including parking. So, you know, if you went... What did they want again? Let me just check that. 6.5 divided 80 divided by 80 is 81,250,000 peso per square meter actually you know what if it really is 72 square meters plus a 12.5 square meter car park don't negotiate I wouldn't even negotiate I'd probably just buy this wow look at that actually that is decent look always try <laughs> don't get me wrong <laughs> always try but my point is the target price for this building is around about 80,000 peso per square meter that's my target that's my personal target so I'm telling you what I value buildings at and what I want to pay for my target price per square meter haha -ha, BGC haha <laughs> -ha, developers that are asking 200 250,000 peso per square meter that's laughable when you can get something in the center of Ortigas like this for 80,000 peso per square meter. Right? Awesome. Awesome. Honestly, if I, I can get that at that price, I would buy it if I had the cash on hand today. Here's one more at 6.5, 57 square meters. Another one in the Malayan. Okay, you get a glimpse of the balcony. See that? That's the balcony. I don't like this one because they've closed the curtain. They've done that on purpose. 
because one side of this building faces a wall and looks directly at another building and this is that condo so this one I don't like so much it doesn't get a lot of light if you're gonna buy one that looks straight at the, the wall you want an extra special price okay so you want to get it for like 70,000 maybe even 68,000 peso per square meter the agents gonna hate me right now for saying that but I'm just saying who wants to look at a wall they're hard to sell but still I mean look if you can get a 60 square meter condo um, you know for say 69 thousand peso per square meter in the malayan 4.14 mil not bad okay so the next one is the address the address condominium again photos really annoying they have showed some internal photos here but this is in the address the whack whack and address has some nice facilities okay so i don't understand why on this one they wouldn't take pictures of the facility you're going to want to hit me if actually I scroll through and there's a picture of the pool. I bet you any money there's not though. Yeah, and if we made the bet, someone owes me like a beer right now. Because they don't put the picture. Okay, two reasons why I like this building. Right, One, it looks over Wack Wack. So Wack Wack is the golf course. Very close to Ortigas. It's just outside of Ortigas Central on Shore Boulevard. Okay, so it's just there. It looks over Wack Wack and okay a couple of things it's got a supermarket there very close by SNR if you if you've been to SNR they've got like you know wholesale products really good prices and the facilities in this building are quite nice so this is seven million we're really getting up there and this building the address has always been expensive so here's the next cheapest okay someone's trying to pull a shifty okay this is 7.6 million. It's it's crossed out. It said this used to be 21 million. No, it didn't. It never used to be 21 million. Stop trying to tell people this is 400,000 peso per square meter, or even more, I guess. Only 38 square meters, so it's small. Um, it's a bank foreclosure. I'm I'm getting suspicious on these banks. No wonder the banks in the Philippines are so wealthy. My God. I'm beside myself. That is 200,000 peso per square meter. Look, I didn't show you this one to buy. I show, I'm show. i showing you this to say beware. Okay, there was another listing. They don't even show you the picture. They just have some blurred, pixelated picture they probably pulled from Google and a little bit of information. So they don't have... They haven't even taken pictures of the inside. Um, that's the first thing. The second thing is I showed you the cheapest condominium in this building. Okay, it was 6 mil versus 7.6, they want more. Okay, so this is a good example of a rush sale versus a foreclosure whereby the rush sale was, was actually cheaper. So beware guys, definitely look around before you buy. And don't just buy because it's a foreclosure, because um, you could get burnt. Know your pricing. <clears throat> and the best way to know your pricing is to go to one or two buildings that you really like just focus on those buildings look at lots of condominiums online and in person and you know try and ascertain what you believe should be the price of that building remember a lot of these high-rise condominiums have hundreds and hundreds of units it could be 400 units so you know if there's not a listing available today there's going to be one tomorrow okay um, don't worry guys if you don't get your price you will next time just keep putting in offers until someone says yes so the next one is a BDO foreclosure this is actually a good one um, some of the foreclosures are great some of them are not so great like the one I just showed you big difference here similar price but this is 97 square meters right almost 98 plus parking so look, I don't know if they've included the parking in the square meterage rate. It says with parking, so I'm going to add it and just say this is you know roughly around about 110 square meters total. So you know 7.653 divided by 110 with parking is 69,000 peso per square meter in this tower okay in the sky twin towers okay so sky twin towers is not a bad tower 
Um, I'm just going to show you that now. All right, let me just open this up. It's the second last one. The last one you want to see, you definitely want to see, because I want to talk about that last one for a little bit before we sign off this evening. And look, I've been trying to make these videos shorter, but it, it's just hard. Because we've got a lot to get through. And again, on this building, you're going to be able to negotiate. Definitely, okay? So I think it's in between Ortigas and Makati. I'm pretty certain this is the tower here. That's the Sky Tower. That's what the tower looks like, guys. Right? Because the bank doesn't want to show it to you. I don't know why. But anyway, this is just outside Ortigas, okay, and the Skyway Twin Towers, you know, 110 square meters. Honestly, for an older condo like this, I'm going to be super aggressive with banks, and we need to push back with these banks, okay, honestly, right? Offer four. <laughs> Offer four. Offer something really low. Made off of 38, 39,000 peso per square meter. Because, you know, otherwise, who's going to buy it? It's an old building. So if you're into, like, renovating those older style buildings and you want space, this is a good option. Anyway, moving along, let's show you the one Shang. Okay, it's known as one Shang or one Shang Rila. And ultimately speaking, the better building in my opinion, is St. Francis Shangri-La, okay? It, it is. But the nicer building internally, because it's newer, just because it's newer, is one Shang. But personally, for a few reasons, that I'm not going to mention here, I actually prefer and have always preferred St. Francis Shangri-La, okay? But this is 9.6. Also, St. Francis Shangri-La is, is a better price, okay? 9.6 million, this is the very cheapest unit in one Shang. And you can see just how nice it is. Imagine a brand new five-star hotel or something like that. That's what this is like. It's like living in the Shangri-La Hotel or the Hilton Hotel. It, it's like that. And again, I bet you they don't show the facilities. And they should. But the facilities in the one Shang are the best. They are second to none. And second best facilities is, is probably St. Francis Shangri-La at the moment. But the Western's being built and, and who knows. Facilities could be good there too. But the price that they want is very, very high. But look, for a luxury condominium, this is actually really good value. Really good value. And this is you know nicely you know refurbed and furnished. So they've spent money here and furniture is not cheap in the Philippines. It's actually really expensive. I think this is actually pretty good value. Like I said, it is the cheapest condominium in one Chang available today. Okay? And that's why I wanted to show it to you. So guys, my voice is giving out, but I'm not gonna give up on this marathon. I blame the bloody recording software because honestly I had another video prior to this one where I'd filmed gotten halfway through and then my voice almost gave out and I had to restart. So, look, sorry about my rusty voice today. Thank you so much for watching. Please do share, like this video. Double thumbs up, guys, and have a great night. Bye for now.